Hey everyone, James here from TDB. Today I have a non-drinking in-between episode. Uh, so I am going to be talking about a little bit about tea balls and why I am generally not a big fan of them. Um, so what are tea balls? Well, they are usually these little balls that are very cute and they come in kind of like this single serving. Uh, I don't even remember who this is from, probably white tea, something like that. Um, usually they're tacked on, you can usually order them or you can kind of, they're often tacked on, just kind of like a nice little sample. And generally speaking, I'm just not a big fan of them. Um, I would almost always rather have like a proper sample, like five grams, even 10 grams or 15 grams rather than kind of this cute little serving. Um, so what is the appeal of them? Well, they're simple. Uh, it's usually intended to be kind of a single serving. They're cute. They're easy to gift. Um, they package up well. Um, so seemingly very easy. So what, what, what's the problem with them? Um, well, for one, I think these are very much intended for either casual brewing or for beginners. Uh, but I, in my opinion, these are actually kind of hard to brew and I don't think they're representative of kind of like the general brewing of something like poor. So these are, I'm, I'm usually talking about these in terms of the poor context. So, I mean, when you're breaking up a cake and things like that, the compression of it is fairly different from these. In fact, ideally, I think these are broken up a bit, but that's not necessarily made 100% clear. And I think a lot of people are brewing these without necessarily breaking them up. Compression is also not always the same. Some of them are very, very tight. In fact, this one, I believe, is pretty broody tight. Um, and so that makes it kind of a challenge to brew, especially if you're not me weighing things, not measuring it. So I think these are, the, the main problem is these are really intended for kind of either casual brewing or beginners, but they're actually pretty difficult to brew. And I think that's like just not a good combination to have, to have something that's like kind of intended. It's like, oh, I'll just give this to uh, uh, my friend, Michael, who is not a very experienced poor drinker, uh, but it, you know, it's intended for casuals. I think more likely than not, they're probably going to be brewing it suboptimally. Whereas like if you give them uh, some loose leaf, I think that's a lot more beginner friendly if they have a way to kind of brew those loose leaf. Um, just because uh, like loose leaf pour, I think it's a fairly beginner friendly way to do it. Um, and I, in fact, I would say probably loosely compressed pour is also much easier to do than something like these tea balls. In fact, breaking them up is often kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, this is maybe one of my uh, quicker episodes uh, to do uh, just because, you know, I don't have a lot more to say about it other than kind of my main different points. So I'm very curious if people agree or disagree. It's interesting to me that this is really caught on. And to me, it, it reeks as something that's not necessarily super friendly towards the consumer of the tea. Um, and more as like something uh, kind of cute and very packageable. Uh, so from a very tea focused perspective, which is really what we try to focus on on this TDB, I, I don't think they're, I, I don't love them. Um, so anyways, it's by far uh, from the greatest sin of the tea world, but that's my uh, kind of hot take on it. So let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm curious to hear other people's opinions on tea balls, if they do like them or not. I do agree that like in terms of packaging and stuff like that, they are very nice gifts and stuff like that. But my concern is like kind of like people, people will be introduced to pour a variety of different ways. And even if the tea is pretty good in here, the odds of uh, brewing it poorly or weird or something like that, uh, especially when it comes to something like young poor or even ripe getting like a brew that's too weak i think the odds are quite a bit higher than if you had something that was loose leaf um so thank you all for tuning in i will see you all next time cheers